Three, two, one, go! What's up, guys? I am, I am one half of your hosts. I am the. I have already eaten my sushi half. Jacob Scott Thomas Bertrand, joined by the mid digestion uh, half of the podcast, Sholo Maridueña. What's going on? Welcome to our unofficial official question mark ninety ninth episode of the podcast of the podcast it's kind 99. of weird i'm saying like we I, we don't really do we count obviously we did a whole ass season of unvideoed oh i see it's episodes. 99 junior it's 99 oh. with all the episodes it's 99 asterisk it's 99 with gianni's episode zero okay 99 mm -hmm. gianni is episode zero that's kind of cool. Love God gets the zero episode. Yeah, of course. Johnny, it's like uh, tennis. Zero is love. Zero um, love. So welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. Um, it's been an eventful week. Um, I was out of town. I'm back in town. It was Jacob's birthday. Now it's passed. I got locked down on the balcony. <laughs> this week. This balcony. Right here. This balcony right here in our office, I got locked out of. Um, so it's been a great week. Um, how was your week, bro? You went to do you do a little uh, a little K one for your birthday? A yeah, little a I little went, I went go karting. Okay. Jacob did announce he said he would win. I mean, if you didn't win on your birthday, I won. You Let's go. Terrible friends. I'm you, an amazing racer. I think ever since that Formula One thing where I did the reaction time test and yeah. I tied the Formula 2 driver I was like dude I am goaded at racing I'm an amazing driver and it just shows you have I to just, build for it I have to build for it I'm I'm jockey sized mm -hmm. I have a really strong super strong neck mm -hmm. and I know how to pick a line pause okay yeah mm -hmm. I like that uh, <laughs> uh, who you also predicted that someone potentially Gianni would crash Mm. Right on the rip. Did yeah. anyone crash? Did anyone have any big slips? Uh, Johnny had three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny had three really big crashes. Johnny isn't like super fast. Okay. He's not super slow, okay. but he's so defensive and doesn't let anyone pass him. Ew. Like he he would basically. Um, so the first race we started, I think I was I started off in like fourth place out of like the the eight of us. Okay. Because just random, and then. Uh, it's by best time. So you do, of course. You yeah, do 12 yeah. laps, whatever the best time, that whoever gets the best times, that's your positions for the podium position oh, race. Oh, okay. So then the second race is based on position. So okay. I got the best time in the, f the, the first, first one. one. First wave. So I got to start first in, position. in first position and I held my position. The whole time. Yeah. The whole time. But um, is there a way if you hold your position the whole time for someone to pass you? No, right? No. Because they have all to, the cars I'm, are the I'm, same speed. Yeah, I'm in So first. then what the fuck? I ha someone has to race better than me. Right. Someone has to You have to make a weird move. I have to make a I have to make a weird move and they have to make a lot of good moves. Right. I can't make a mistake and they can't make a mistake. And it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Yeah. You beat them by a whole last second. I beat them by a whole two seconds. Wow. Yeah. Which is pr pr pretty impressed. But Gianni, Gianni was, I think, got fourth in or no, maybe he got fifth and then he got fourth at the end of the day. Um, but me being in first, I started lapping people and I got to where Gianni was and there was just like this big glob of people behind Gianni. And so I was like slowly passing one person, the glob, and then another person, the glob, and then another person, the glob. And, and then I was behind Gianni for a while and I, I only had, I was only behind him for, uh, the last lap, but dude, that kid was so annoying to be behind. <laughs> like he would just make mistakes to make sure you don't like he would go slower and like make a bad turn so that you right. wouldn't pass him he was the goons in speed racer dude right? he's the he goons in speed racer the dude the dude yeah it was the, really funny but the viper in the in in the we ended up doing a third race okay um, because we just we really wanted to and we put gianni in the very first cart because oh. we're like he's so hard to pass everyone has to pass him in Yo order lit. to like do well 
And what ended up happening was uh, <laughs> Una came, and Una Una's uh, older brother Isu was with us. And Isu and just just getting frustrated and just crashing into Gianni. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, man, I was still behind Gianni. And then as soon as we got around another corner, Isu just like took Gianni out again, and I got to pass him. But, wow, they led the they led the charge for you. Yeah, they led the charge for me. So such disgusting behavior on your birthday. I can't believe it. It was. I so really much wanted fun. someone to go out there and, and give him second place. But you're the fastest racer. Yeah, Blake was close. My little brother came out to visit. And how uh, was that? It was fun. It was cool. He uh, as soon as we got out here, he was like, "Can we go to a lumberyard?" Oh, okay. Yeah. So I have a bunch of wood. How in is the lumber here? Uh. Not that cool. Oh. Sorry. You heard? We ain't got wood out here. Nope. Not a lot of cool wood in Atlanta. There's just not a lot of exotic wood in Atlanta. But my brother went to a lumber yard, found some cool koa wood from Hawaii. Represent. Represent. Uh, so I have a bunch of koa in my room because he couldn't fly back with it. He can't? It, 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 he didn't. He brought a backpack. <sighs> oh, my God. Too big for the backpack. I know. Well, what is he going to make? I don't know. He bought me a piece for my birthday that's like a turning piece. Like it's it's like 15 inches, two by two. Um, so it's like for a lathe. I don't know. I can make one chair leg, I guess. Or like, <laughs> or like a Nice. Leg. Maybe uh, you can make a um, a wallet. A wood wallet. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> It'll be like a clog. Yeah. Or a wooden t-shirt like in Dave. Oh, that'd be Just cool. A sturdy ass wooden t shirt. Is that really a thing? Yeah, they they joked around about it. It's yeah, it's it's a bit. I guess you could do that. It's like the most like hype beast thing ever. Veneer, oh. use veneer and make a wood t shirt. You could do it. Just Ew. steam it, steam it around your body. That's possible. It would swell up. Yeah, I don't know. My week was my week was good though. My week was was very chill. I had I only worked one day. Okay. And. Daniel bought me a Pokemon Lego for my birthday. Okay. So I was working on that. So oh, I, I saw say. it. The Charmander on our table. Yeah, 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 the Charmander. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Honestly, the chillest of weeks. Read a lot. I'm almost done with my book, Edge Dancer by Mr. Sanderson. Mr. Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson. Okay. Um, it's about a young girl who, her name is Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's funny. It's just about her stealing food. Okay. It's the whole book. Like, in the series, it's very epic fantasy, all this stuff. And then this little novella I'm reading is just about a little girl with powers who uses her powers, these fucking crazy powers, to just steal food. Little Jack Jack. Yeah. Little like Jack Jack. From yeah. And she's hilarious. It's been a good read, though. That's right. I too Libido got libros. into my fantasy book. I am 200 something into Dune. Dune. Nice. Um, shit is just, I think I just finished the first part. Like it's, oh, okay, in, but it's yeah. broken up into three parts. I think I just finished the first part. Shit's hitting the fan right now. What party at? I think I just finished the first movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which which is which now I'm beginning to learning the the, the differences. I gotta rewatch the first movie, but I realized after reading this book that I needed the audiobook after like chapter four. <laughs> because I can only come up with like three voices in my head. <laughs> there's only like three. Oh, really? Yeah. There's like Paul's voice, you know, this person's voice, this person's voice. And after the fourth person, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, gotta, really? Like, yeah. To have to remember all these fucking names of people that I don't know when I'm going to see them. Like, they don't really give descriptions. Not, not really. It's kind of like these are the Harkonnens. You know, they say they go be, be sure to say that these motherfuckers have blue eyes like the other people, the 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 people, sand people. the sand people the native Fremen. to yeah, the Fremen. The, the, Fremen. the Fremen, the people native to Iraqi Arrakis. So it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. I wish there's definitely way more action in the movie. Ah. But I do like the this is the first book I've read in so long that goes like this person, that person, like you're the books that you read. Oh, where yeah. You where you're in this person's head and then you go that. Yeah. Per- and it actually is pretty satisfying yeah. to you to the perspective changes, the perspective changes. And I like how like, you know, I'll start to see domino, 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 domino fall for this character. And then we move back in time and see this person catch yeah, up. Yeah. 
or or one character will leave something and another character will find it that. in another scene, stuff yeah. like that. Like I I have been enjoying that. Um and finally the motherfucking Baron is back. Uh Skarsgard is back. Oh yeah, yeah. Um and that's the other thing. Like I now just sometimes when I'm looking at them, all I can think of is like, oh, that's Oscar Isaac. Oh yeah. What yeah, is yeah. Oscar Isaac saying for yeah. <laughs> But maybe I need to read next a book that the next one that I'm reading, I guess. Yeah, I was on set when I was on set. Um, Don, our stunt coordinator, he was. There's a lot of hype about Dune Two. Yeah, like most of my YouTube Everyone page is, glazing it. is like Dune is the is a wake up call for Hollywood. Dune Two oh. is <laughs> cinematic masterpiece. Like this is cinema. Which honestly makes me kind of want to hate it because I'm like, Who yeah, Jacob people? hates the popular stuff. So, what's the ultimate sci-fi movie? Just quickly before we get into Dune Two, I don't know. I'm not that. I I love, just as a kid, Blade Runner was like the ultimate sci-fi oh, yeah. movie. It was so weird to me, but made sense. Like it was so weird, but I was like, oh, I but I get it. Someone on set today said that that was yeah the movie. Um, you little thing in the chin. It was just a piece of rice. Um. No, but Don was, he was saying a lot of the discourse he's hearing is that Star Wars is just a direct ripoff of Dune. Yeah. Everyone's like, Dune. But that wasn't, I thought that people knew that already. Like, there was a 1984 Dune that came out already. Yeah, the books came out so, yeah. like, way before the Star Wars movies. And he was asking me, Gianni, and Luan, one of our writers on Cobra Kai, and how, and I was, I was like, I mean, yeah, like, I'm sure George Lucas pulled a lot of inspiration from from Dune and just has a lot of things. That, like Ar- Aragon, one of my favorite books as a kid, mm-hmm. is just Star Wars with dragons. It's the exact same storyline as Star Wars. It's just dragons. And it's an awesome book. Like Tarantino doesn't rip off the people that he's, you know, kind of highlighting his movies. But Luan had a really, really um, interesting perspective. He was like, okay... You could just say that Dune is a ripoff of Tolkien. Yeah. Of all the Tolkien books. He's like, because that's basically what that is. And then if you want to take it even further, um, the guy who did uh, John Carter on the, on Mars, that was like the first fantasy. He's like, so if you really want to put all, pull it all the way back, it's John Carter. You know, I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting to, like, if you really want to play that game, you know, people want to glaze That's the Dune. Ed Sheeran game. That's the, really, yeah. you want to say that these chords are, yeah. these chords have been used it fucking 400 years ago. Like, yeah. I, yeah, they do. I mean, I, I feel like that's one of the things that you learn, right, is that, like, all stories are basically, like, eight stories. Yeah. Like, there's, there's a group of them. But it's, it's that way because the shit is good. Like, Jujutsu Kaisen is Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach all wrapped into one. Okay, wait. So how many different things can you put together before it's a new fucking thing? Like that was three whole ass different shows. Like, isn't doesn't that count as a new show? What do you mean? Like you said, oh, it's this yeah, yeah. show, that no, but, show, and that show. That's not enough to consider it a new show. But that's that was sort of the flack when Jujutsu Kaisen first came out. Oh, is wow. it's like Naruto, how he has the curse live or the spirit living inside of him. It's like One Piece, where they have to search for this thing. It's like Ble- Bleach, where they have all of the hollows that are oh. cursed spirits like coming after them, guys. It sounds like a new anime to me. You have to, <laughs> you have to. I mean, I don't know. I, I, um, yeah. People, people love to compare, bro. Yeah, but, I'm excited to see Dude Two though, and see everybody walking around with those freaking popcorn buckets. All I hear is like, Dude Two is amazing. It's a cinematic masterpiece. God, I can't wait to get that popcorn bucket. Oh my god, Timmy. I'm a big Timmy fan. Oh, you do like, Timmy and I hear like this is a good one. So, I'm waiting for it. Also, like, now that Cobra Kai is wrapping up, like, we're both available for Dune Part 3. I just want to make that crystal clear. Yeah, can I play King of the Worms? Well, jokes aside. There's a King of the Worms already? Fuck! Yeah, yeah there, no, 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 there will be because Timmy Tim's son ends up turning into a worm. Wait, what? He's a human that ends up, I mean, I haven't gotten that far. How do you know that? Uh, because, well, I was doing some YouTube. Oh my thing. God, no. But there's a series, there's a series already out with James McAvoy, where James, Mc, James McAvoy, sorry, uh, plays um, the Timmy's son. Wait. Who ends up turning into this worm guy. He, they don't make it that far in the show, but. What show? Like a Dune mini series that came out like in the early 2000s. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It, it, it's it's uh, Children of Dune Wait, with what? Susan Sarandon. Yeah, I just found it out. I literally had no clue. Whoa. Yep. But um, so you can be the worm boy, bruh. So, hey, let's put it out there. Um, dude, I went to. Whoa. <clears throat> yeah, Susan and, and James. It seems like it's I hear it's a pretty good adaptation. What do you what did you think about the Oscars, Jacob? Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Three, two, one, go. That's the intro. That's the intro, bro. Not the transition. Welcome to Oscars Talk. Welcome to Oscars Talk. Um, what did I think of the Oscars? I thought the Oscars were awesome. I was never, admittedly, the biggest Billie Eilish fan. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I didn't no, know like, that this is where we were starting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, seeing her perform live with her brother, I am now a Billie Eilish fan. Whoa. I think Billie Eilish is fucking goaded. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah. I was very, very... I was like, wow, this is really, really beautiful. This is super good. Um, yeah, she sounds like a siren. The I'm just Ken... That was actually pretty cool. It was really funny. Really funny. The best really part was just endearing. when the cameraman had his hand out. That was like, best. that made the whole thing. That, that was, was so really good. good. I, as I was watching, I was like, I just picture Monica just like standing up in front of her TV. I just can't. I know. Does that made me smile. I actually, there was no one I thought more of than Monica oh, when watching poor the Oscars. Was winning. Oh my God. Yeah. When fucking Emma Stone won lead actress, actress. I was like, Oh my God! What what was your reaction, Monica? Yeah, were you as surprised as Emma Stone was? Yes, but also no. Mm. I had a feeling that they were going to pick Emma Stone at mm. the end of the day. Really, Lily Gladstone? Why? Yeah, I Lily Gladstone been winning so much more. I think you could also tell that <clears throat> Emma Stone was kind of like, oh shit, me. Like she was kind of hoping. Yeah. Lily Gladstone was going to win. Was she Has she really won before or no? Emma? Yeah. La La Emma? Land. Yeah. She oh, won La La Land. Land for sure. I did like the Jimmy Kimmel thing where he's like, all right, now rip that up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, I loved the way that they had the the actors present the other actors. That was really nice. Oh. Last year, they kind of flubbed it up and were just showing the little clips or whatever on the screen. Dude, but it was nice how they nice had... Touch. All I thought the, so. I thought that too when I was watching it. Um, I didn't really. The ones where the actors didn't know each other, I thought was like, you know, they were fine. like average, fine, whatever. But the ones where like they were friends and like had like, um, I can't. Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker talking to the guy who got nominated for Rustin. Oh, Coleman uh, Domingo. Coleman Domingo. Domingo. That was so cool. Like they had worked together. Um, I just thought those stuff were those ones were really touching. Um. And then when I was on set the day after the Oscars, the entire crew was like joking about it. Wait, why? Yeah, and, and it, it made sense. They're like, oh yeah, wow. You just Most of the Oscars was a bunch of actors telling a bunch of other actors how amazing they did in their movies. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's funny. That's totally true. Like yeah. for people who who um, are just are watching who maybe aren't actors, and I just think that that is a funny way. It's like, oh, cool. Like people just patting each other's on yeah. the back who are like doing all the same thing, yeah. you know? They'd be like, like LeBron being like, You shot so many threes. <laughs> yeah. You were so fly <laughs> when you crossed over that guy. Yeah, I don't know. It's also funny because in for like a basketball reference, you can say, damn, you like you can there's a measurement yeah. you can use. For acting, there's no there's no real measurement. It's all subjective. Yeah. So the way there's the way you capture the vigor of a married man, yeah. like you know, I don't know. It is funny to look back and think on it how, like that, and how the crew. Do you think it. they come up? They came up with that on their own? Then no, hell no. Even if it's their friend, I think if it's no. their friend, they might like change some of it. But, um, but Ben Kingsley doing the Killian Murphy introduction and then bowing was the coolest thing yeah. I've ever seen. He just has the coolest voice, just the way he goes. Killian we love Murphy. Ireland, dude. The way he just said his name, the whole crowd goes, ah. "Yeah, that, that was, was really super cute. cool." Ben Kingsley, that's a sick one to to have introduce you. 
dude. Do you remember your uh, school song? What? What do you mean a school song? You guys, the fucking this, yeah, the, yeah, the national anthem. I'm, no, no, alma no. mater. Your alma mater for your. Did you have a? There, there's a song for every school. In high school, I had one. No, you don't have one for middle school or elementary school. Nah, really? Did you? Uh, no, no. I think I we get... did, but I, my elementary school song was painted on the wall. Yeah, and so I just was mine. It, it was just a quote. No, I just oh, the, no, oh, I chaparral, oh, chaparral, our voices sing thy praise. All right, Jacob. Wait, let's break fire. that down. Oh, chaparral, oh, chaparral, oh, voices hear our, our praise. Our voices sing thy praise. Our voices sing thy praise? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, <laughs> what's the next line? Uh, I don't remember. It's something like through mountains high. Can My high school one was not any better. Really? Do it. Yeah. Sing it. Hail Cathedral. <laughs> 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 like a communist like war, dude. Community. And we literally, we literally would point, oh, we would literally this? point to the fucking the alma mater in the gym. Everyone would point. Hail <laughs> Cathedral. Hail. <laughs> Oh my mother! Hell. Oh God! <laughs> we and because you guys are guys, you guys would purposely sing it like, oh, of course, octaves, yeah, like deeper, dude. So when I, you know, I went to, I was lucky enough to go to a public high school. Okay, we would have homecoming rallies. Yep. Um, you know, you meet in the gym, go to a rally, whatever. I skipped about most of them my senior year. Okay, um, my senior year of high school. Um, I sk- didn't skip school. I was, for whatever reason, at Sholo School, and oh. I yeah you didn't went to one of Sholo School rallies. Yeah, how was it, dude? They were insane. <laughs> they were freaking crazy. Was I was I uh like moderating that one? Uh, you weren't moderating. Or what do you call it? it? What do you like rallying? It? Yeah, emceeing. I don't know. No, I don't remember you emceeing it. I feel like Drew was or something. Like Drew was a part of it or like Anthony. Yeah, I mean, we were, it was all ASB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but dude, you guys like play musical chairs and it, it wasn't musical chairs. It wasn't like, oh, it gets a little rough and it's musical chairs. Like people would fall down and there'd be a chair like close to them. The two dudes would fucking fight Too until full, yeah. one was down and far enough away where the other guy could grab the chair and was like, yeah, fuck off, fuck off. Yeah, like, and then the fun. next round would start. You guys were crazy. Yeah, we we they did some pretty. Oh my god, all the meme videos that get would ma- that would get made after those would be so fire. Like the they would just throw some Takashi six nine on the back of like our teachers like faculty basketball game. They did this one <laughs> <laughs> like uh, where Drew's dad, Mister Fronte. <laughs> They all had to spin around in like 10 circles and then shoot free throws. Yeah. And it was just a video of him spinning around. It was like, mom, shout, I'm shout. We gonna show what we about. Oh my, really gangbang till we death. <laughs> just like. It was Drew's dad. Yeah, it was just, it was just yeah, it was just my freaking Best friend's the dean, father. The dean of studies. Um, But I miss, yeah, I, I miss having faculty around to to make fun of. Yeah, to make fun of that was so good. <laughs> and also, like, it reminds me, and I hope that we get to, like, whether it's on this show before we end or a, the next thing that we get to work on. One of the things that I enjoyed so much about getting to work on the back lot of, of Universal while I was doing Parenthood was every production out there, they do, they do softball. And every oh. production that's filming on the lot at that time is you know, in the... w- w- is in the softball league. Oh, so it's like you know, Parenthood versus you know whatever the this show, oh. that show, that show, that show. And I think that that would be sick. I mean, granted, out here we're not on a lot or anything like that, but if we do get to film on CBS or Paramount, maybe Universal, it oh. would be cool to. It would be so nice to film in LA. I love Atlanta. It's fun to film in Atlanta, but it would be cool to just. Go home to my bed. I don't. Th- oh, well, you live a bit closer now. Yeah. Okay. Even if I still lived in Claremont, I would make the drive. Whoa. Yeah, that's not that bad. An hour in the morning. So many people do that. Yeah, and then yes, 
I mean, but then you have to then you have to go home and then do it again the next morning. That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. The nine to five, you know. No, no I like, ain't that far. No, nine that far. to five. No, it's no, not. It's like it's more like seven to ten. Well, there you go. You're gonna miss traffic both ways. I miss perfect. It. Right there, but where are you headed this weekend, bro? Yeah, can we hear? Yeah, are you heading out? Yeah, I'm are going you? on the Appalachian Trail. Oh, yeah. Where are the Appalachians? Uh, Appalachian. North, east. Oh, North Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina. Is that the Blue Ridge Mountains? Or no? I'm not 100% sure. The Appalachian Trail is, you know, like the Triple Crown, the big three hikes in America? Yeah. It's Washington to California. The other one is Montana down to, like, New Mexico. You're going with Mo? Yeah. Just you and the dog? Just me and the dog. Wait, but is Mo built for that type of stuff? Huh? Is he built for that? We're going to find out. Oh, my God. He's going to have to. He's going to have to truck it. He's going to have to do good. So what? How how many days are you gonna go out there for? It's what either Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Whoa. Okay. Peyton's what? fifty fifty on coming. She oh. is either gonna go to New York to visit friends or come with me on oh, the trail. Oh, okay. Which I, I think she's leaning towards coming. Yeah, I think that'd be a sick trip. Yeah, I mean, with I, the I dog. Um, I mean, yeah, and if I mean if Mo doesn't make the trip, she wants to be there. Yeah, if dude, if worse comes to worse, I'll just throw him in my backpack. Just carry him the whole way. Yeah, just leave the leave the lid oh, open to be a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm done right I'm here. Actually, um, yeah, I'm excited though. I haven't done a backpacking trip with a significant other or by myself, so I'm excited for both. And um, or dog. And or dog. I've never done a backpacking trip with a dog. I've done lots of like really long hikes with our old dog Arista. Um, rest in peace, my love. But um, I've never done with a dog or a significant other. Yeah, pour it out, pour it out for the rest. Of um, so it'd be cool. Are you scared? But I'm not that worried. I have. I feel like I don't underestimate nature, but I have. I do have like a decent amount of backpacking experience, so I feel okay. like I know what to expect. Um, it's gonna be hard. I'm not doing the whole trail, which takes you know what, like three, four months to do. The 2,190 plus mile Dude, long. You start in Georgia and you end in Maine. The Ooh. other one, you start at the top of Washington or you start at the bottom of California, go all the way to the top of Washington. Though that's the Triple Crown. That's like the big three hikes in America. Damn. Yeah. Months? yeah. Oh my god. But um, you're not afraid of like Mothman or the Moon Eyed people oh, or yeah, the Snarly so, Owl. So this is what Peyton brought up. Is Peyton started googling about the Appalachian Trail? Okay. And there's all of these. The Appalachian Trail, more so than any of the uh, than the other two, has all of these um, like conspiracy theories and ghosts surrounding it. Oh shit! Some unsolved mysteries. Yeah. So Some... there's the Moon-eyed people, which I want to say they're they are believed to be the, a Native American tribe that were there before the Cherokee that lived in the Smoky Mountains, and they have like white eyes and they can't see during the day; they only come out at night. Okay. And that's like a myth. There's oh, the what's the other one called? That wolf. Or the dog? The snarly yowl. There's also the wampus cat, but the snarly yowl. Okay, yow. what the hell? Is, what the hell? Dude, so, no, the dude, cat. What the, dude, the why do these sound like? The is this Native American woman that got shunned from her tribe. So she hid under a rock with a fur pelt to like keep warm. And then she turned into this cat. Bro, like, these are Hanna-Barbera characters, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no the way. The Mothman, Bigfoot. Uh, so I had a question for you. There's Okay. What's the, the Yarl dog? Or what is it? Snarly yowl, dude. I gotta, I gotta look up the pictures though, because for the third the time, the snarly yowl dog. <laughs> it just sounds like you're making up words. Yeah, I know, bro. guys, I didn't make this up. This is a real. This All right, we real. can the fucking we can show these the blue There's black the snarly yowl. Okay, scroll the snarly yowl. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll show it you. Has I'll, a I'll show you the fucking fucking forest on its back. Yeah, let's see. The creature called the snarly yowl has been roaming the mountains near Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Possibly since the first Germans settled in Upper Potomac Valley in the early 1700s. The first Germans. The beast lurks along old main roads in town, challenging travelers along the way. Wow. So between the snarling yow, the wampus cat, the mothman, and Bigfoot, which one 
would you want to run into and you think you could take? I mean, the wampus cat. That's how I could fuck up that. That sounds like I could fuck that up, bro. Yeah. Okay, the wait, wampus me, cat. It's, it sounds like now. it doesn't have good balance already. Bro, I'm show you Womp. The yeah, it's, it's wampus. Sounds like yeah. A, it sounds like scripted. The wampus cat. That cat. This is looks so like wampus. the other one. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Okay, Jacob showed me this picture. Okay, you need to put it pic- up. Put it up. Yeah, they'll put it up. The scariest thing about this is that I was just able to break through the fence. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it. It just walked through the fence. It didn't even have the fucking intelligence to jump over. But it walked fence as, through it the just fence. Walked through it. And it's so, half woman and half cat. <laughs> shit, I already slayed. <laughs> Sheila comes back and be like, yeah, bro, I got some bodies out there. Will you kill some people? Nah, bro, I fucked a cat. <laughs> <laughs> half cat, half woman, half cat. Wait, I just picture like a whole ass pair of legs and just baby ass cat body, bro. Disgusting. <laughs> I think of cats, the 2019 movie. Ew. That's you even slept worse. With James That's yes. even worse. Nah, it'd be Idris. You know, it'd be Idris. Idris was... Elba is in that? Yeah, he's one of the cats. Yes. Dude, I gotta and see a picture of James that. James Corden. What? Yeah, he actually, I mean, he looks, he looks marvelous. Yeah. Who convinced him to do that? I mean, he got the bag. Um, I hope that you don't encounter a bear or anything like that. It would be a great story. Yeah. I mean, if anything, just be like, all right, Mo, (laughs) (laughs) run that, that direction as fast as you can. No, if anything, I'd be like, all right, Peyton, (laughs) I'm a lot faster than you. You're like, that's a weird place to put it. Push it down. <laughs> let's go, Mo. That's a weird place to put a piano. Mo, let's go. We're getting out of here. Sorry, School Spirit Season 2. Never going to know what happens to Maddie. Oh, my gosh. JK, JK. JK, JK. I'll protect you. JK, I have that JK. thing she, Guys, on she's going to New York anyways. Come on. She's going to New let's York anyways. Real. She's going to go hang out with her friends. Let's be real. That's way more fun than, what would you say? You were picking twigs? Wait, no, what? You were... You were Sorry, sorry. I hope you have so much fun. I was going to build a twig fort. I'm going to be um, reading on the balcony, not getting myself locked out. I hope not. And with that, Jacob, (laughs) yo, do you got a song of the week, my boy? I think we've already done it. No, I have done that. I'm just saying it's like one of my favorite ones. This is my song of the week uh, because I think this is probably the best diss I've ever heard in my life. Uh, you look, look my nourished. <laughs> Great way to start the song. <laughs> uh, you oh, look malnourished. Shoot, it's so Let's good. get some bread. Oh, you look malnourished. Tyler, the I mean, creator. He's right, though. I don't know if you would like me, but I think you're cool. He was just in Atlanta a few days ago doing some thrift shopping. Really? Yep. How do you know that? I know all things. Tyler, the creator. Um, okay, I'll, I'll throw up a Tyler song then. <clears throat> you threw up, what was the name of that one? What's your name? What's your <clears throat> name? Um, what's your name, girlfriend? What's your name? What's one of my favorite Tylers? <laughs> Who that boy? Who you me? <laughs> um, let me see. <laughs> um, I really like Earthquake Smuckers. Smuckers. Yeah, I like Smuckers. I only know Tyler Creator songs. Three. I mean, what about you know, um, Cali? What you mean? I take it offensive because I'm the hottest. Um, the sun will come out. Nothing good ever comes easy. You're the person who showed me Tyler Creator, and I don't. Oh. I don't listen. I listen to music. You heard that? You heard that? Yeah, t- Tyler the um, the Tyler. He's putting people on, bro. Wait, I need an actual song. I'm not doing that last song. Why? That song was not good. Oh, whack. Never mind. Tell the creator he does. You know what like song, song I'm doing? What? I'm going to put everyone onto a new song. Whoa. Schlumped Up by Khaki Kid. Is Schlumped Up like chubbed up? Schlumped Up? No. I, I mean, in this in the, in the this song, I don't know. I'm schlumped, schlumped up. Oh, no, that's more just like. You can catch me. Yeah, it, it, he's Lounging. just like this in the corner. Lounging. You can catch me in the corner looking schlumped up. Anyways, Monica, Jordan, please bless us. Bless the pod. My song of the week is Thundercat. Ooh. Them changes. Ooh, I love it. If nobody moved. There's blood. 
on the floor. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Monica? And my song of the week is Psycho Killer by the Talking Heads. Yeah. Psycho Killer. What you say? Better. Run, 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 run away. This has been the Lone Lobos Podcast. Oh, I thought you were going to keep going. Kiss, kiss. That's how it goes. Okay. I don't know this song. Well, this has been the Lone Lobos Podcast. Thank you so, so much. Coming at you live from Barcelona. Coming at you live from the motherfucking Barcelona. We will <laughs> see you in the next salubrious episode of the Lone Lobos. So, um, keep reading, libido. Okay. Breath. Yeah, what's the name of the book? Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck, mine's downstairs. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Anyways. We'll, we'll find s- it. We'll put it right here. No. Over. My you ear. dream of empires? Yes, you thank you. Empires is right here. You dream of empires. Oh, my ear. Get it, read it with us, because by the 101st episode, we're going to talk about it. Oh, shit, really? Basically. I mean, maybe 102nd. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to be reading that on the trail, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, well, take pictures. And we'll see you in the next week. In the next week. Ciao. Bye-bye. This episode of Lone Lobos is a Lone Lobos production produced by Monica Tamayo and JMKM with intro music by Nicholas Gray. Like what you hear? Check us out on Instagram at Lone Lobos. <laughs>